The Cherokee Nation is now pushing for jurisdiction over descendants of freedmen who commit crimes. Freedmen are slaves once held by the tribe who are now tribal citizens. And the Cherokee Nation also plans to buy an old church in Tulsa and turn it into a community center. News on 6's Amy Slanchik is live near 46th Street North in Peoria with changes the tribe plans to make. Amy? Craig and Lori, this, after some renovations are made, this former church will be used as a hub for Cherokee citizens who live in Tulsa to give them better access to tribal services. All right, it's official. Now that the lease is signed, the North Tulsa Cherokee Community Organization will soon move into the former Greater Sunrise Baptist Church. We have a home that we can call our own now. Wynetta Lori is the president of the organization, which just formed a few years ago, operating out of the Tulsa Dream Center. She says the new space will have an impact on the roughly 1,300 Cherokee citizens in the area. They don't want to have to drive to Tahlequah, so they will have a uh, services here in Tulsa that's right at their back door. The push for another change doesn't involve renovations, but instead change to federal law. Right now, the Cherokee Nation says the Major Crimes Act doesn't allow federal prosecutors to work a case involving a Cherokee citizen who is of freedman descent. While the tribe recognizes descendants of freedmen as Cherokee citizens, it argues the United States does not under this law. As we speak, if a Cherokee citizen of freedman descent is accused of a crime, he can and will be hauled into state court. His status as a Cherokee Nation citizen will be completely ignored. Our message today is that this is simply intolerable. Cherokee Nation Chief Chuck Hoskin Jr. says the nation will push Congress and the courts to make a change. We will not rest until the United States and its backward laws on Cherokee freedmen descendants catches up with the order of equality here at the Cherokee Nation. Today, Chief Hoskin also proclaimed February as Black History Month for the Cherokee Nation. The community center is expected to open up sometime before the end of the year. Live in Tulsa, Amy Slanchik, Oklahoma's own News on 6.